Japanese people are very polite and they may look a little shy, but they are good at emoting with dramatic face expressions and tone of voice using just one letter. Short R means you know you might have messed up. Long R and nod means you understand it very well. Short A means you are surprised. Long A with your mouth open means you cannot believe it. Long O means you are impressed. Oh. Long hair means you are surprised and impressed at the same time. So means actually the same as so in English. For some reasons, they like to say it multiple times. So, so, so. So, 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 so. To ask, is it so, politely is so desu ka, which is similar to so desu ka. If you add one letter expressions on top, it gives more edge. For instance, a so desu ka means oh really. Oh so desu ka means is that right? I didn't know. He so desu ka means oh my god, what? Just to say casually, they may put a and so together and simply say a so. But don't panic, they are not saying asshole. Face and body parts are just one or two letters, so it's easy. Facial parts sound like a girl's name. I is me, sounds like me. Nose is hana, sounds like hana. Ear is mimi, as in mimi. Mouth is kuchi, which sounds just like, you know, kuchi. So interestingly enough, both means lips. It's just a matter of upper or lower ones. Some body parts sound more like a man's name. Hand is te, sounds like te. Leg is ashi, similar to asher. Note that we use the same one word with a single or plural. A hand or hands is te, a leg or legs is ashi. Face is kao, sounds like kao. Body is karada, sounds like color that. Butt is shiri, similar to siri or the lady on your iPhone, Siri. To make it polite, place o on top and say o shiri, so it's like o siri. Thank you in Japanese is arigato, sounds like arigato. Japanese has a variety of politer and politest versions. The politest form is arigatou gozaimasu or arigatou gozaimashita in the past tense. But just say arigatou and bow, you look totally cool. Ie is a very convenient word that you can use all the time. You can use it to say either no or not at all. Just put two alphabets together, e and a, ea. So you can use it as you're welcome. But you want to really rock the Japanese and be authentic, say this polite version. Do itashimashite. It almost sounds like, don't touch my mustache, right? Arigato. Don't touch my mustache. Arigato. Do itashimashite. Counting from 1 to 10 is very easy because all of them sound like English words. One is ichi, sounds like ichi. Two is ni, just like ni. Three is san, just like san. Four is shi or yon, sounds like shi or yon. Five is go, just like go. Six is loku, as in the streaming box loku. Seven is shichi or nana, sounds like shichi or nana. Eight is hachi, it's like hatch. Nine is Q, as in Q, or Ku, like Ku, and ten is Ju, like Ju. Let's review. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, or Yon, Go, Roku, Shichi, or Nana, Hachi, Q, or Ku, Ju. There you go. You just learned how to count from one to ten in Japanese in less than a minute. Learning how to say greetings is essential, so let's get to it. Good morning is ohayo, sounds like ohayo. Good afternoon is konnichiwa, kinda like corn is cheap, what? 
Good evening, it's Konbanwa. Sounds like Konban, what? You can use them as hello as well. In the afternoon, you say Konnichiwa. In the evening, you say Konbanwa. But if you meet someone for the first time, you want to be polite saying how do you do or nice meeting you. That's Hajime Mashite. So it's like saying, Haj, you made mustard. You know what sayonara means, right? It's goodbye. Then how do you say good night? It's oyasumi, or to be polite, oyasumi nasai, which sounds like, oh yeah, sumi, or oh yeah, sumi nurse. Before we eat, it's our custom to say, itadakimasu. French people say bon appetit to someone who is about to eat. In Japan, we say to God, others, and to ourselves, meaning, I humbly receive. It's inevitable because everybody says it, so you should too as a courtesy, so let me make it easy for you. Just say, eat the duck and mouse. Just like you must say, itadakimasu before the meal, you must say, thank you for the food after the meal. And that's, gochiso sama deshita. I know, I know, it's not easy. So my roommate and I cracked our heads and came up with something to help you out. So here it is, goat soup for my desktop. You can cut it short and just say, gochiso sama, casually, but if you say the full sentence, you will get so much respect, guaranteed. So go ahead and say, itadake mouse, goat soup for my desktop. Itadakimasu. Gochiso sama deshita. If you add the word Jin after the name of the country, it means its people. So Americans is America Jin, French people is France Jin, Spanish people is Spain Jin, Mexicans is Mexico Jin, Italians is Italia Jin, Indians is Indo Jin, Australians is Australia Jin, Austrians is Austria Jin. What about Japanese? Japan in Spanish is Hapon. In Japanese, it's Nippon or Nihon. Nippon sounds like Nippon. Nihon sounds like Nihon. So add Jin afterwards, just like a glass of Jin. Nippon Jin or Nihon Jin is Japanese people. Sounds like Nippon Jin or Nihon Jin. Foreigners is Gai Jin, just like Gai Jin. White people is Haku Jin, sounds like Haku Jin. Black people is Kokujin, sounds just like Kokenjin. Remember these two sentences, you can pass many situations. It's real convenient phrases that you can use all the time. The first one is Suimasen or Sumimasen. It means excuse me, which sounds like see my sand. It can also be used as I'm sorry as well. So when your boss is angry and you really want to apologize, they might say it three times in a row like, Suimasen, Suimasen, Suimasen. And you want to say, don't worry, no problem, or everything is fine. Just use this second word, Daijoubu, which sounds like deja vu. To make it polite, just add desu and say, Daijoubu desu. It's like deja vu desk. Or you can use it as a question, Daijoubu means, are you okay? And to be polite, it's Daijoubu desu ka, which sounds like deja vu desu ka. When you come home, there's this one word you say to let the person in the house know that you are back. And it's Tadaima. Sounds like Tudaima. When you hear that, you must respond and say, Welcome back. And it's Okaeri. Sounds like Okari. Say like a call and response. See, you are now a part of that Japanese family. After work, we say to each other before we leave, Otsukai sama. It's hard to explain because there's no such word in English. It means like, great job today everyone, see you next time kind of thing. Instead of just saying sayonara, you are acknowledging that we all worked hard. It's such a considerate and courteous word. I always feel like saying this word after work, even in America, but it doesn't exist. Otsukai sama sounds like otsukari sama. And to be politer as usual, otsukai sama deshita, which sounds like otsukari sama desktop. There you go, great job. Otsukare sama.